Uh, hi, I'm Nipa. I'm 25. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, let's say I'm not yet 50. <laughs> and uh, we are in our studio on uh, Columbia Road in London. I'm Jonathan Levine and I'm 48. Um, yeah, almost half a century. Childhood memories, well, I grew up in a toy factory uh, in Scotland, um, where I was born. My parents started a business um, manufacturing soft toys. And so we had rolls and rolls of fabric. We had cardboard boxes used for packaging and exporting the, the kits all over the world. So you can imagine I had um, an abundant array of materials to experiment with and to, to make things. Yeah, of course, you know, I, although I was born in, uh, in Bombay and I, I grew up in, uh, in Delhi, uh, you know, my kind of enduring memory of childhood is this absolute abundance of uh, influences. You know, I grew up in an old pink art deco house. Um, you know, there was a paper cutting factory right opposite uh, our home. There was a little workshop making bicycles and then down the street, you know, we used to get our milk from the Dudwala, which was basically a shed with buffaloes. You know, that's how kind of, and then there was a chai maker and, and, and you know, my whole kind of idea of um, beauty was rooted in making and architecture and this kind of um, absolute contrast, you know, having a beautiful old temple next to home. And, you know, I used to think pink, uh, Art Deco was an Indian uh, uh, architectural style and, and so were Vespa scooters and you know when I came to Europe first I thought you know how come you know we have the same scooters here that I'm not friendly people know me um, as I am I think <laughs> there's no there's no fooling anybody really at the Royal College of Art in the furniture department. I fell madly in love with Nipper. This is before we started working together. I did. But I also made the second move and the third move. And I kept moving until Nipper finally caved in. We didn't have a first date because Jules we... Rotisserie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we... I don't know. We didn't well, have a first date. I thought we were on a date. Okay. <laughs> um, I call Jonathan Janu. Mm. Nipper is Pinchuk. The Barbican. Um, I like cycling, so I take 40 minutes on my bike to be in the countryside. So I like a balance, equal balance. City for me, in the heart of the city, absolutely. I am notoriously known for wearing a silk dress every day, you know, even through the lockdown, I dress up properly every day. So I'm not an informal person. Um, I would say at home, of course, the only time I'm in casual wear is when I go to bed, really. I wear a buttoned up shirt everywhere. So even when I'm doing kind of you know, uh, work at home um, on, on the place or uh, making models in the studio, it's always just a buttoned up shirt. Um, I think maybe s silly things like I want more design in our house. I always want more things and Jonathan. Yeah. Money. I, I spend way too much. <laughs> Yeah, especially during lockdown. I just, well, I went a bit crazy with the wine. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a, he doesn't even know our bank details, you know. <laughs> I know enough to buy stuff. But. Yeah, but you know, it's not just wine, it's also a brand new Ducati. You know? Oh yeah, yeah. And the... <laughs> okay, now I'm embarrassed. <laughs> it's rooted in cultural exchange. 
design process which incorporates making as a way of thinking? I think for me it would be a house. I would like to uh, design a house, not necessarily an object, if, but a house is an object as well at uh, some uh, level and wish something that I'd designed. I think it's more, I wish I'd painted one of the paintings of Picasso. I think it's more that. I wish I could paint like Picasso and sing like Kishori Amonkar, you know. How can I compete with that? <laughs> I, I want to design a electric motorbike. For fashion, I think now I, I would say I'm a, I shop online, but I'm a very, I buy very, very few things. But when I buy things, they're really expensive, but then they last me 20 years. I've started buying fashion online. Yeah. I buy everything online. Uh, it was a Satsas teapot from the, the Indian memory collection. Actually, I gave Jonathan a Prada um, uh, briefcase for Christmas. So that, that you could say is a recent purchase, I suppose. Yeah. Am I allowed to have colourful socks by Ayame, a, a <laughs> Japanese um, brand, um, as one of my kind of small treats? <laughs> um. I make tea for Nipper every, every single morning, without fail. It's um, chai. Indian chai, and I make my own masala, and it's becoming quite famous um, in, in the area. Um, everyone who has it just loves it, so I make the tea. Um, I, I have to admit, I'm, um, my mum would call me uh, kitchen chor, like to someone who doesn't like to step into the kitchen. So I have an amazing... Um, Go on Portuguese uh, uh, helper. She cooks for me. I, I I have to admit I don't do a lot in the house. I just kind of move things around to make sure they're compositionally correct, and I think that's my contribution to the to house duties. Um, at work, I think I'm very good at negotiating contracts. Uh, I do that. Um, I also um, draw, so I think in a way there's kind of this, either I'm drawing or I'm kind of doing more the kind of uh, financial business uh, side of things, which I love. I love that kind of game of negotiation. My sort of department in the studio is uh, really kind of planning projects. Uh, I've, I've got a, a good um, skill for um, finding a pathway into projects as well, thinking of the, the starting point, the opportunity, the gap, um, and then finding that kind of way. And I think of starting a project as, as being, um, you know, a bit like break dancing, not that I've done it myself, <laughs> but you know how they kind of circle the, the, the area before they kind of get into their, their dance. I, I think of a design project like this, and I think that's how, um, that's how I think of, um, you know, my approach to starting projects in the studio. Hands-on, I suppose. Beautiful colours and really... Beauty. I would yeah. say the word we use a lot is beauty. Um, to not have a design style, definitely. Yeah, develop an approach. Points of <laughs> if I be Vidoshi, I think I would love to meet him. I've never met him. I worship him and his work in Ahmedabad to go to Sangat and go to his office and just touch his feet. <laughs> Very Indian of me. <laughs> There's a sculptor, um, David Smith. Um, who worked very much with steel and welding and um, created these amazing kind of architectural spatial compositions um, with a kind of a very agricultural approach to, to sculpture. Um, and I, I think he, he would just be amazing. Actually on my table, where I'm sitting now, um, drawing the most beautiful ideas because in a way, when you're traveling, you're looking at things. But I think it's when I'm 
sitting at my desk with my colors, my materials. That's when the ideas come to me. I'm not the person who can have an idea everywhere. I need to be in the studio. Um, I have my best ideas um, quite unexpectedly when I'm not trying so hard to have an idea. Um, I think that's an important part of um, the, the process and maybe it, uh, but I think of ideas as sort of precipitating, um, you know, uh, rather than, um, you know, being something that you have to um, attain. It's something that just kind of comes uh, when you least expect it. So, uh, yeah. I wish I could paint. Again, sculpture. For me, spaces. Actually, you know, we were lucky in the summer we went to Sardinia and we had a beautiful house uh, by the sea and uh, it was a house full of beautiful art and objects and we just swam for a month and ate and I think it was really special to do that. I think I would like to be remembered uh, as an Indian woman in design who was able to um, to do work which was beautiful and and trailblazing in in some way, I think. I, I don't know. It's up for it's it's up. It's up. To, I mean, multi layered, um, a great maker, good father, nurturing person, kind um, and uh, generous and um, loving husband. Loving. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, chai, you know, I drink at least a liter of chai uh, a day. So I think, of course, if I don't have chai in the morning, you know, it's one of those things in a steel cup. Um, of course, I make my bed immaculately. That, okay, maybe that's a quirk, yeah, definitely. right? Yeah. And the cushions are wrapped in a blanket in a certain way. The pillows, I, rather. I, I try to wrap the pillows. And I do it really perfectly, but it's never good enough. Nipper comes back and she will undo it and redo it. It's infuriating. <laughs> I make so, coffee every day. There's, there's one. And I have a small grinder. It's a little cylinder with a handle that spins around. Um, and um, yeah, so I grind coffee fresh every day. Ah, form follows function. It's sheer nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so whatever you're learning at, at college, you know, um, yeah. Form follows function needs to yeah. go in the bin. <laughs> yeah, it's time. Time. Yeah. Yeah. And less is more. Less is always less. <laughs> <laughs> My God, I'm reading a comic book, Persepolis, by uh, Marjane Satrapi. Uh, and that's the level of my reading and I'm doing Sudoku. I think pandemic has killed my reading, basically. I'm reading The Great Gatsby, um, Fitzgerald. It's fantastic. A lot of jazz uh, at the moment. That's, that's my doing, yeah. And Farida Khanum. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm trained as a classical singer, so it's a kind of, you know, I just love her voice, Kishori. Uh, Shobha Gurtu, I mean, yeah, it's a kind of jazz and Indian classical music. Yeah, for jazz, I would say um, Abdullah Ibrahim uh, on piano. Um, I would say also Alan Toussaint, uh, the New Orleans style. Um, yeah, really good. I play Sudoku. I put Raoul to bed. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Weave. Can we have contrast, combinations? Can we, yeah, do something with that? Juxtaposition. Both, I would say. Depends. Both. No, I go with handmade. Yeah, if we're talking. Yeah, yeah handmade. Yeah, yeah. Any day. <laughs> encouraging people to be more open-minded 
and I think I hate nationalism in any form. I would stir people to embrace the world for all its beauty and contrast and plurality. I second that.